There are really two different kinds of uses for symbols and one of them is alphabets. The other use of symbols as we looked at with the signals for Paul Revere are called pictographic writing. The difference between this and alphabetic writing is shown right here in the middle of this screen. In this case these symbols in Chinese represent things human, sun, mountain, and water. Just that one symbol says everything that we would otherwise spell out with these kinds of words in an alphabetic language. Well you can see this is inherently limited for as many different things as we want to talk about and in human life we have many you need to have a different symbol. About 3,000 symbols is necessary to be available and memorized in order for you to get by adequately in Chinese. For technical work in Chinese you'd need twice that number. Well you can see this is really the, the same sort of signaling mechanism that was used in the day of Paul Revere to get the message out about which way the British were coming. Each unique signal meant a specific thing. So the problem is anything you didn't anticipate you didn't have an agreement already to represent. It's not very flexible and it is very difficult to learn because that's a lot of symbols to remember in order to have an adequate vocabulary. Now other languages such as Greek, English, Russian and many others are written in an alphabetic way. Here a limited number of symbols, in our case 26, which stand for things we call letters, can be arranged one after another in groups to spell things out. So at the cost of learning the sound or the meaning of a limited set of symbols like the 26 we use, you can actually express a great many things. There you might have to remember the meaning of words, but the formation of the signals to transmit those words or to store those words is limited really to not very many symbols. That's why with a collection of eight bits, two to the eighth power gives us 256, 256 different bit patterns is more than sufficient to represent all the lowercase letters, the uppercase letters, punctuation, number symbols, and various other kinds of things that are unseen called control signals but are necessary for machines in order for them to be able to communicate and manage the transmission of the information between devices. Let's take a look at an example of alphabetic writing. 